we use very flexible, this is um, silicon gels. This allows the wearer then literally every little nuance, every little movement, smile, wrinkle, movement reads through the face. The downside of that is that you can only wear one of these prosthetics once. Once we've shot on it, it goes in the bin. It's made in several parts. There's, uh, there's the, the eye which glows. Inside is a plastic skull that goes on and that has the eye attached into it. Then the headpiece will, it isn't split, it's in one piece and that pulls over the top of his head. We have the ears as separate pieces that we add and the chin is actually a separate piece. It comes with these very tissue thin blending edges. We redesigned some elements also, it's like the, the headpiece that Davros has. I don't know if you can see there's a kind of metal lug there. So we literally screw it into his head and it has a robot and so we had to build this as well to silicon and then we've added hard plates to it. It's actually even got a zip inside so Julian could just slip it on. Davros always had kind of nails, clawed hands, so the design incorporated, you know, elongated metal parts like that. And wardrobes provided a beautiful sort of leather costume and then uh, the art department created the base and the whole lot just comes together and I, I think it really worked out well, I'm very happy. It's a lovely project to do, it was a fabulous and as I say this was, it was mine, I got to, <laughs> I got to, I'm doing it.